Despite Nintendo saying that the I've moved out glitch had been patched in the 1.2 update, I was still receiving comments that it was still happening to people. If you haven't checked out my video on that glitch then you should go do that. And make sure your games are up to date to the latest version so that this glitch should hopefully stop happening. However this video will be going over a couple of the other glitches I have been hearing about that are plaguing villager homes on people's islands. The first one that I'm sure you've heard about is villager houses having the wrong exterior. If you haven't had this glitch or seen it, what it looks like is that when a villager moves out and a new villager takes the plot, the outside of their house will have the same appearance as the previous villager who had just moved out, rather than the current villager's exterior. The interiors, however, will change. This glitch particularly sucks because you may have picked a villager specifically for what their house looks like. What I initially was reading was that this glitch was only happening to people who had been time travelling during the move-in process. They would time travel to move the villager in faster and then time travel back to the current time and find the exterior was wrong. But after looking more into it, this seems to also be happening when moving villagers in from the campsite, both naturally and with amiibo. So basically, nobody is safe. Unfortunately, once again, this is a glitch that Nintendo will have to patch. However, there is one method that has fixed this for some people, but I have to emphasise, it is not guaranteed. The only guaranteed fix will be a patch from Nintendo themselves. If you end up with the glitch, you can try kicking the villager out and then re-inviting them, but you must not time travel to speed up the process or else you risk yourself getting the glitch again. Again, this is not guaranteed, but some people have reported that this method fixed it for them. The second glitch that was brought to my attention is the villagers forever in boxes glitch. This glitch is particularly frustrating because as you can guess from the description of it, you end up with villagers that never leave. Each day you load up the game, you will get the we bid our farewells to whatever the villager name is as they are moving out, and yet they never do. After looking into it, people were mostly having this happen after a villager asked to move out and you agree, then when they are in boxes to leave, you invite another villager to move in, but they take a different villager's place. I know that's a little confusing, so here is an example. Say you've had Apple living on the island for a while and one day she asks to leave. You decide that, sure, Apple, you can go. The next day, Apple is in boxes preparing to move out, and at the same time, Audi is visiting the campsite. You've already decided you want Audi and ask her to move in, but she wants to replace Gonzo, and you decide that that's fine. Gonzo and Apple are now both in boxes on the same day. The next day, Gonzo will be gone, but Apple will be stuck. She will not move out. This seems to be a conflict of having two villagers trying to move out at the same time. I'd imagine the game is only programmed to have one villager try to leave in a day, but I don't know. However, I received a message from someone with this problem who didn't mention trying to move out two villagers at the same time, so I'm not sure if this can happen regardless. My suggestion would be to wait until a villager has fully moved out before trying to move someone else in. Another method the community has come up with is again to use the campsite, either with amiibo or naturally, to get the villager at the campsite to kick the stuck villager out. In my example, you'd use Audi to kick Apple out. If the villager at the campsite selects a different villager, reset the game as soon as their name appears so it doesn't save and try again until they pick the correct one. This seems to be working for people, but again, it's not guaranteed. Please give us a patch, Nintendo. This glitch also does seem to be affecting when people visiting come to adopt villagers for their island, so just be careful when villagers are moving out. I've seen reports of people ending up with the wrong villagers. Just to end on a few small things I want to acknowledge. When villagers are in boxes, they can still sometimes be crafted in midair. They'll just be hammering nothing. You won't be able to get a DIY recipe from them because when you speak to them they'll just tell you about moving. This isn't major but it's really inconvenient and honestly just annoying because there's nothing you can do about it. Likewise, sometimes a villager can be crafting all day. I'm not sure what causes this at all. Again, this is just inconvenient as they're supposed to rotate so you can get a different DIY recipe and I'm not sure if it clashes with the rotation but they do seem to fix themselves by the next day. Finally, I just want to to talk about Celeste and shooting stars, I've seen so many people talking about whether this is a glitch or not even now two months in. You are not guaranteed Celeste if you have a meteor shower and you're not guaranteed a meteor shower if you have Celeste. She will just show up at random. However, if villagers acknowledge that you're going to have a meteor shower and you don't get one, that is a glitch and unfortunately I don't have a fix for that. I hope this video has been helpful, a like would be appreciated if it was, leave a comment about any more glitches or issues you've come across in New Horizons down below. I really hope there aren't many. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and if you like you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links are in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye!